What is up guys? I already know you saw the thumbnail. I know you know what this is about. Let's just hop right into it. I'm not going to spend too much time on the intro. So, um, passing week six, going into week seven in the NBA, we made a transaction for the Montreal Habsals. I decided to drop Typhlosion for Moltres, and uh, my buddy Derek wanted to be named after a Pokemon. I had promised him Typhlosion, but I wasn't keeping it, so Derek is going to be our Moltres. I really wanted to name this thing Valor, but I got to keep my, uh, my best friend on the top, top priority, so... Uh, anyway, uh, what are the pros and cons of this transaction? Well, a couple of things. Uh, Typhlosion, what, what are its advantages? One, it's a nuke with eruption, um, because if it's extremely high, well, not extremely high, but with choice specs, it hits an extremely high base, um, special attack, and eruption is a base 150 move, uh, that weakens as you get weaker. Also gets access to fire blast, focus blast, which is cool, uh, something that Moltres doesn't get is good fighting coverage, um, then we have, what else here? Gets access to Rock Slide. It's got a cool physical move pool, but with not a great attack stat. Anyway, uh, Typhlosion, I wasn't seeing myself bringing to games because there are a lot of resist to it. There's uh, quite a few Pokemon that get access to Flash Fire and things like that. Uh, quad resists to fire, one of which we have on the team being Tyrantrum. So Typhlosion wasn't doing too well because often I'd have to put him into a choice role. Uh, and that's extremely predictable, so... And there's no really workaround to that. There's no sort of setup that Typhlosion gets that's threatening. Uh, you know, like, uh, like Nasty Plot or, uh, Dragon Dance, Calm Mine, you know. It doesn't get anything like that, so... It's not as threatening as you would think. However, Moltres, if we just compare the base stats really quickly... 78 HP, 90. 84 attack, 100. 78 defense... Hold on. <laughs> 90. 109 special attack, 125. Their special defense is equal, and Moltres has a higher speed stat. What makes Moltres bad? It's quad weakness to rocks. That's the only reason that it's not a UU Pokemon is because it has a quad weakness to rocks. If it had an ability like Magic Guard, Moltres would be insane. But that quad weakness to rocks is something that hinders it. Now, why did I want to get Moltres? It's something that I mentioned earlier in the season. My only defogger is Scizor. I need something else to get rid of Hazards to support Thunderous, to support um, a couple of other Pokemon on my team like Sash, Mamoswine. I need a way to get rid of Hazards. And Moltres is a Pokemon that can come in on rocks in a defensive role. If my opponent is not exploiting my quad weakness with Hidden Power Rock, uh, or a rock coverage move, I can defog the rocks away, I can roost off the damage, something that some other defoggers can't do, and I can put Moltres into a defensive role. I wanted another defensive Pokemon on my team to complement Slowbro. Moltres is that Pokemon. So let's just take a look at uh, some of the moves that it gets. For one, Moltres actually can set up. It's got access to agility, not only that, it gets access to Tailwind, so I can give it team support. Not only doubling its own speed, but it can double everybody else's at the same time. What's its move pool? Well, it gets access to Air Slash, which is kind of cool. Its most powerful flying stab is Hurricane. A little unreliable, but I can run Air Slash. Let's, let's say I want to run a uh, King's Rock Air Slash set one week. Uh, I can do that. I can boost my flinching rate to like 50%. Uh, I can run this thing in a defensive role with Will-O-Wisp. Uh, like, let's say I want to run a Sub-Willow Toxic Roost set with no attacks. I can do that. U-Turn. I can gain momentum. With this thing's base speed of 90, it's actually a very good choice scarfer. If I just do this, give it positive, 306 hits over uh, 450, which is faster than like Mega Alakazam. So I can run this thing in a choice scarf roll with U-turn. Uh, I can run flame charge on it to boost its speed. Once again, its physical move pool is not great, but it's not bad either. Uh, with flame charge, uh, we look down here, it gets access to return frustration, obviously. U-turn, which we men mentioned before. Aerial Ace, fly is kind of cool. A um, couple of other things here. Natural Gift, which is always a nice plus. Um, gets Sky Attack and Sky Drop, won't be using those much. Steel Wing, which is really nice. Uh, and coupled with its base 100 attack, it can actually hit a lot harder with uh, physical attacks than Typhlosion could. Uh, unfortunately, its ability, uh, Flame Body, is not re released yet, uh, but we still have Pressure, uh, which is really, really good. Actually, I don't know, is Flame Body released? Because Static was released on, uh, on Zapdos. So Flame Body might actually be a thing, I have to check that out. Uh, that's a really good ability because if your opponent hits you on the physical side, they have a chance to get burned. So, uh, also gets access to extra sensory with which Typhlosion already got. Basically, it's a better Typhlosion with access to Defog, which we mentioned before. 
as you can see right here, it gets the fog, it's able to get rid of hazards, that's extremely important for my team specifically, um, because I only had one and that was my, um, my scissor. Uh, this is also another fire resist, uh, which Typhlosion was as well, but this one is actually a little bit better because it can uh, soak up hits better than Typhlosion could. Typhlosion you don't really run HP on uh, most of the time, it's not really worth it. Um, it, it only takes 25% from rocks, but it gets weakened really fast because of its defenses. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. The, this is this is way better. They were in the same tier. I don't know why I chose Typhlosion over um, over Moltres. I was kind of all on, on tilt during the draft uh, when it came to my tier four pick because Blaziken got taken from me. I really wanted Blaziken for Fighting Stab. Oh, that's another thing that I wanted to mention. You guys see these four Pokemon right here? So what do I lose by losing Typhlosion? I lose uh, fighting coverage with Focus Blast, Superpower, Superpower, Superpower and Focus Blast, Superpower, Slowbro gets Focus Blast, like Scizor gets Superpower, I have fighting coverage everywhere on my team, I don't need the extra fighting coverage from Typhlosion, it's not necessary, I'd much rather have a solid defogger, a um, a reliable defensive Pokemon in Moltres, I can see myself bringing Moltres to games. Like, Moltres is actually a decent threat. This thing is BL2, guys. It's right below UU. It's too good for RU, which means it's better than Typhlosion in everywhere, in every way, other than being four times weak to rock. That's it. That's it. That's it. Like, that is Moltres's only big weakness is the fact that it's four times weak to rock because its base stat is almost equivalent to Zapdos. I think it is, actually. It probably has very similar stats to Zapdos. Like, let's just bring up Zapdos for a second here. You guys will see. Zapdos, what's his HP? 90, same. Attack, Moltres is higher. Defense, Moltres is higher. Special attack, they're equal. Uh, special defense, Zapdos has a little bit more. Zapdos is a little bit faster as well. Like, Moltres' speed is not bad at base 90. I have fast Pokemon in Thunderous. I have scar potential Scarfers. Uh, I, I have the speed that I want. I don't need Typhlosion's base 100 speed. I have what I need. I need a defensive Pokemon like Moltres on my team, I also need a Defogger, and I need something that can give me good team support, so. This is the Pokemon that we're deciding to go with. Derek is now a, an official member of the uh, Montreal Habsols. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe if you haven't uh, already, and if you want to see any of the league matches, there will be one uh, in two days from now. Uh, the team builder will be out tomorrow for week seven and then you will see uh, the match on Sunday. So be sure to be here for that. And uh, that's it, guys. Thanks again for watching. I will catch you guys later. Ciao.